hello welcome back to this channel my name is Ayo thank you for stopping by again in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a cow neck top so if you are new to this channel do what to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get to see more videos from this channel for this tutorial you would need to get your um, ruler your tape measure pen pattern paper then of course your fabrics so the first thing we need to do before drafting is to determine the depth of the cow neckline and for this tutorial i'll be going for something medium so i'll just place the tape rule at the nape of my neck and i will try to get a medium length i don't want something too deep so i'll be going for 20 so you can just place your tape rule and get the depth for that cow top all right so let's get started and to do that the first thing we need to do is to draft the back pattern our basic bodies pattern for the back if you do not know how to do this i have a video on this channel on how to draft a basic bodies pattern okay you can go check that out so here i'll just go ahead and draft the pattern And so here it is and I'll just go ahead and label each part and the next thing we are going to do is drafting of the neckline and for that I'm going to be using the width of 3.5 inches and the depth of 1 inch so I'll just go ahead and connect each dot together to form our back neckline and I'll just go ahead and highlight this neckline with my marker and yeah we are done with the back pattern so i'm just cutting out the excesses out so here is the back pattern and i'll just indicate that all right guys so next i'm going to use the back piece to cut out the front piece and here i'm just pinning it together so that it doesn't move around up next i'm just going to retrace the same thing we have here on this new pattern paper and with that we are going to have our front piece all right so here is the front piece and i'll just make some little changes around the armhole you know the uh, front armhole is always deeper than the back okay so i'll just cancel that other line and um, the next thing i'm going to do is to change the uh neckline i'll be using the depth of three inches you know we use one inch for the back so the front piece will carry three inches and i'll just cut out this pattern so that um, we can have our front bodies all right so to create that cow neck effect we are going to modify this front piece and what we are going to do is to come to this shoulder line and you are going to measure whatever you have there and divide by three or by four but i'll just divide by four and i'll be having one inch each so i'll divide that shoulder line by four all right so i just divided the shoulder line and the next thing to do is to come to the neckline and we are going to mark two inches apart so i marked about four of that you can do more the more you do the more drapes you have so this will serve as a slash line this point we are going to connect it to the shoulder line i mean each point are going to be connected to the shoulder line just watch what i'm doing right here so i'll just connect the first point on the neckline to the first point on the shoulder line then i'll move to the uh, second line and i'll connect the second point on the neckline to the second point on the shoulder line so i'll just continue to do that until i exhaust all the uh, points that we have okay so this other point here i'll just connect it 
somewhere around the armhole to create a slash line and after doing all that you would have something like this so i decide to add one more point to that what i would do here is just to measure another two inch from the last point and i'm just going to connect it somewhere around the armhole so i just measured about 1.5 inches away from the first uh, the last uh, line there and i just created another slash line so in total we have about five slash lines so i noticed that the first slash line i created was too deep so i'm just going to modify it a little bit using this um, ruler it doesn't really stop anything okay so i just wanted things to be a little bit accurate okay so um this will be number one now so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut through these slash lines that's why i call them slash line because we are going to cut through them but you are not going to cut everything just watch what i'm doing you are not just going to cut through it or okay you're just going to leave a tiny bit at the end there so that everything still stays together okay they're not going to cut it through all right so this is what it looks like and we can go ahead and get a fresh pattern paper to spread on all right so i've placed the front piece on a fresh pattern paper and note one thing if you try to spread like this on the fresh sheet if you try to spread this uh slash lines it's going to go beyond the pattern so what you need to do is to pull it back a little bit just the way i'm doing here so that the pattern paper can accommodate it and the the more you pull back the more drapes you will get however i will make sure that uh, the center line of both of this piece are lined and i'll use a pin to hold it together all right so the next thing i'm going to do is try to spread these uh pieces okay so i'll just measure about two inches you can use more than that if you have enough fabrics and um, i'm going to spread each and use my masking tape to hold it down and i'll go ahead and do the same to the next piece remember that you can use more than two inches as much as you can you can leave plenty of spaces so that you get a very drapey effect but before i proceed i'll just need to come to this top part remember the measurement i told you about the first time so um i'm using 20 i measured 20 when i did my measurement for the depth so 20 divided by 2 will be 10 so i needed this top part this neckline area from this neckline area to the center line i needed to have 10 there so after seeing that i have about 10 inches from the neckline area to the center of the paper i'll just use the masking tape to hold that neckline area down so i will just secure this neckline area with a masking tape and i will spread the uh other pieces this can be a little tricky okay just take your time and patiently uh, pin each pieces down while spreading it and finally this is what i have after the slash and spread and once again i'm going to confirm if i have up to 10 inches over there from the neckline area to the center of that pattern just the way i placed the tape rule earlier on okay so um the next thing i'm going to do is to retrace the shoulder line on the new pattern paper so just watch closely so right from where the shoulder line connects to the neckline there i'm going to draw a straight line to connect to the center line so i'm just marking that straight line regardless of this other pattern that is on it okay i just want to make sure that i know where i'm starting from and where i'm ending the line okay so i'll just remove this remaining part we do not need it 
and I'll just connect this line to that center line. All right, so after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is optional. So I will just try to create a kind of facing for the neckline area. I don't want to start cutting um, a different facing after uh, this pattern. So I want to cut it all together. All right, so I'm just going to indicate that this is the facing. As I said earlier, it is totally optional. All right, so the next thing we are going to do right now is to retrace all the other parts of the pattern and we are going to cut it out and this is what we have afterward and before i cut it out i'm just going to indicate front piece on this uh, pattern and before cutting again i'm going to do something i'm going to fold this facing area i'm going to fold it into two like this and after folding inward, I'm going to cut out the pattern. Folding the facing inward before cutting ensures that you have the correct shape for the facing. Alright guys, so this is what the front piece now looks like. And when you fold the facing, this is what it looks like. Alright, so this front piece has to be cut on fold. All right guys, so here I've transferred the pattern onto my fabrics and I modified it a little bit. I do not have enough fabric, so uh, the back pattern is open. I left some allowance, so I have to join the back pattern. You know it's supposed to be cut on foot. However, if you are going to be attaching zipper to your own, you can leave zipper allowance. Then I went ahead and cut some facing for the back piece okay you can actually use a bias if you want but this facing uh, but for this project i'm going to use facing and down here is the front piece cut together with the facing so here guys i'm just drafting a basic sleeve for the top up next i would get the facing for the back and i will align it to the neckline uh, you can use your pin to hold it together then I'm just going to sew it so here I just sew the uh, facing with the back piece and I'm just cutting out the excess and I'll notch it so that it lies down flat so here is what the back piece is looking like after I've given it a good press so right here is the front piece with the facing uh, folded inward. I'll just use a pin to hold it together so that it stays in place. So this is what the front piece is looking like right now. And what I'm going to do is to uh, place the back on the front piece, right side facing right side. I'll align the ham hole and right there is the shoulder, okay? So I'm going to place the back piece on the front piece then i'll align the shoulder together just the way we align our normal blouse so i'm just going to align the back piece and the front piece together then the shoulder i'll just sandwich the shoulder just the way we do it normally okay then i'm going to hold it with a pin so here i'm just aligning the shoulder together the front and the back shoulder i'm aligning it together I will make sure that each piece aligns perfectly then I'm just going to hold with a pin so that when I'm sewing it doesn't move around okay so this is what it looks like and we are just going to join it together so we are going to do the same thing to the other side of the shoulder Okay guys, so this is it after joining the shoulders together. You can see the neckline is taking shape already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn this blouse inside out so that we can join the sides together and we can aim the bottom, okay? So I'll just align this side and I'm just going to sew it and I'm gonna do the same 
to the other side next i will empty bottom And here guys, I've already done that. I've um, sewn the side together and I've already hemmed the down part of the blouse. And next, I'm going to attach sleeves to this blouse. Of course, it's totally optional. If you want it to be armless, you can just finish the armhole and you're good to go. Alright guys, so this is it. Here is our cow top and it's looking so beautiful. And guys, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Also, feel free to drop a comment. I would love to hear from you.